Well, well. Seems you've finally come around. I believe congratulations are in order. You've officially passed the compatibility exam and are now ready to begin your life anew as a synthester. Now, now, try to stay calm. You did sign the contract, didn't you? Let's have a look at it, shall we? Pertaining to the experiments and business affairs of the organization, the signee... Ah, that's you. ...does hereby agree to faithfully and willfully cooperate and participate in all assigned activities without objection. As compensation, the organization agrees to remit rare and valuable character goods, figurines and books per the signee's wishes. Really, they're rather shady terms. It's a wonder you ever endorse such a document. <laughs> hmm, that is true enough, I suppose. Either way, fortune has smiled upon you today, as you are the only one for whom this experiment succeeded. You, more than any other, overflow with desire. Your attachment to physical objects is stronger than I've ever seen before. The others simply couldn't measure up. They were failures and were thus asked to leave. There to exist as the hunted, you see. No need to look so concerned. Perhaps I should tell you a bit more about the Synthesters. Synthesters are chosen beings. Superhumans who exceed ordinary humans in terms of motor reflexes and raw strength alike. To fulfill their own desires, they exert a truly unfathomable power. One could even say their potential is downright infinite. There is a catch, however. They have a certain weakness to the light of the sun. It's their Achilles heel. You could almost think of them as man-made vampires, though without the unfortunate thirst for blood, of course. Everyone else in the room has undergone this same metamorphosis into a chosen being. They are the same as you. You came for a job, no? Well, that's all I want from you. I need some part-time help, and you newly born synthesters are just the ones to provide it. Oh, it's nothing like what you're thinking, I'm sure. It's a simple job, something anyone can do, really. You're to attack the people wandering the streets of Akiva and absorb their life energy. Don't worry, it won't kill them. I simply wish to borrow that which gives them the will to carry on from day to day. Simply drain their life energy and bring it back to us and your job will be complete. And of course you will be handsomely rewarded for your efforts. As much as you'd like will be yours for the taking. <laughs> You're as foolish as you look it would seem. A pity, really. Well, the choice is yours. Just know this. Defective goods must be destroyed. Master Zenya, we have a situation. I don't like the sound of that. What's wrong? There's an intruder in the building right now. An intruder? What happened to the guards?
Can you move? Follow me. We're getting out of here. Subdue the intruder! Now! Yes, my master! I think we lost them. Are you all right? Can you still walk? You're injured. This is from when you shielded me, isn't it? You still seem to be in full control, but it won't be long until that's not the case. Very well, if I have no choice. I'm going to share some of my blood with you. This will most likely save you, but it may bring you even greater suffering in the days to come. If you think you're willing to take that chance, then please, drink my blood. I could swear I just sensed a wicked notion from you, but no, I'm sure it was nothing. This blood will lead you down a difficult road, I fear. But in the end, your fate is your own to shape. <laughs> I, Shizuku Tokikaze, do hereby decree that this man, whose blood will soon resonate with my own, be welcomed among us. <laughs> it seems to have taken. And thankfully, your wounds are now healed. My name is Shizuku Tokikaze. What is yours? It's nice to meet you. I'm sure you've heard the rumors, haven't you? That monsters have been attacking people on the streets of this town? I am a hunter. It is my duty to slay these monsters. These... synthesters. Typically, those who are transformed into synthesters lose all sense of reason. They blindly, violently pursue all that they desire. Fortunately, you managed to avoid being swallowed up by your own material lust. As far as I can determine, you still seem to be fully capable of rational thought. Though I suppose that's because of the blood contract. You're something more than a synthester now. No, never mind. Your wounds may have healed, but you're still weak. And you're still extremely vulnerable to sunlight. During the daytime, you'll need to take care not to expose any of your skin below the neck. Otherwise, your body may dissolve. I suppose not. Though ultimately, locking yourself away in a dimly lit room could well be for the best. It may take some time for your body to heal. I'd suggest we rest here for the night. I don't think they'll find us here anytime soon. Try your best to relax. You should be able to move again come morning.
Are you up? I'm sorry to ask this first thing in the morning, but do you know of any safe havens in the area? We won't accomplish anything by wandering aimlessly through the streets after all. I'd prefer someplace quiet where we can regroup, but anywhere is fine as long as it's secure. Akiba Freedom Fighters? All right then, will you show me the way? How are you feeling? Good. I'm glad to hear it. Don't forget what I told you yesterday. Your body is extremely sensitive now. Exposure to direct sunlight could dissolve you completely. Keep a close eye on your clothing. Don't let yourself get stripped down. I doubt the men who attacked us yesterday will give up quite so easily. Not just mine, but yours as well. Of course, there are bound to be those who will leave us be, but I wouldn't count on that. <gasps> They're here! It's her! We found her! That filthy failure's with her, too! Let's smush them both! They're the same as us. Poor souls with a fatal weakness to sunlight. Run. No, that won't be necessary. My mission is to fight them until they're subdued. You should be able to feel it too by now. The power to fight awakening within you. Come, join me in this battle. Who's that? Broski! You're alive! I hadn't heard from you in three days. I thought maybe somebody chipped you off somewhere. Stare. Who's this lady? 
She's not part of the Freedom Fighters, is she? Saved your life. Oh, I see. I see. Anyway, you must atone for leaving me alone and worried these past three days. The present situation is thus. There is approximately one little sister standing before you, desiring of a character tea, which that shop over there just got in. Your mission? Purchase shirt for adorable sister. go with just a warning expenditure this time. But next time you disappear like that, you'd better be ready to declare bankruptcy. The other freedom fighters have been really worried about you too. So make sure you've got your story straight when you see them. The longer you wait to explain yourself to everyone, the more danger you'll be in. Also between you and me, I'm a little embarrassed to see you traipsing about in such shoddy attire. Stop by any time you're back at base and I'll give you a makeover. For a small fee, of course. Just something to keep in mind. The present situation, however, is that this sunlight shines far too brightly for a humble shut-in such as I. Therefore, your adorable sister shall now coolly take her leave. I'll see you back at base. Your little sister is certainly unique. So, are we far from the headquarters of these Akiba Freedom Fighters? If we don't get moving soon, we could be attacked again at any moment. for three whole days, man. Where you been? The hell were you thinking disappearing like that? I thought for sure you'd been kidnapped. And what's with the high quality 3D next to you? Something smells real fishy here. She saved your life? What do you mean? those rumors floating around Akiba were actually true. Rumors? What, you mean you haven't heard them? There have been like a million flips about it. People getting kidnapped, turned into monsters, then terrorizing the locals. Yeah, that's... They steal life energy from people. In other words, they drain their vitality, effectively killing all enthusiasm and zeal. So what you're saying is those recent news reports of people being discovered in deeply lethargic states. It's because they've been attacked by these synthesters? I'm afraid so. I think 
think I understand. This is one of those truth is stranger than fractions things, right? That would be fiction, Cotty. Truth is stranger than fiction. So let me get this straight. You go off to apply for some shady as hell job where your employer somehow drugs you and turns you into a monster? And nothing leading up to that set off a red flag. You are seriously the world heavyweight champion of dumbass. Come on, Toko. He's been through enough already. Besides, getting lured in by Ellie Swag makes total sense, considering who we're talking about. Oh, for the love of... Do you even comprehend how much trouble you've caused everyone? You don't exist in a vacuum, you know. So, ignoring these two for the moment, I believe introductions are in order. I'm Yuto, Yuto Tachibana. May I have your name as well? Mine is Shizuku, Shizuku Tokikaze. We call ourselves the Akiba Freedom Fighters. Together, we voluntarily patrol the streets of Akihabara, keeping an eye out for trouble. He's one of us as well, and this bar serves as our base of operations. That's right, and I'm one of the central figures in our illustrious group. Name's Kaito Tachibana, and the pleasure's mine. As you might have figured out, I'm Yuto's older twin brother. Best way to tell us apart, I'm the one with all the ideas. Is one of those ideas being out of school and unemployed? You shut up! You shut up and you die! Little brothers can't show up, big brothers. It's against the rules. Yes, yes, that's enough now. I'm Kati Raikone. I blew on in from Finland to Japan so I could see and do its cool busy culture. Hmm? I believe what she's trying to say is that she flew here from Finland to study the cool culture of Japan. Name's Kihachi Sugiyama. I'm the manager of this year game bar, Mogra, where people can knock back a few while they play these old classic arcade cabinets. Feel free to just call me Pops. Everybody else around here does. But you're welcome to call me dear sweet old man if you prefer. He's got a face fit for the FBI's most wanted list, doesn't he? <laughs> hey. But he's a good guy. Don't worry. You could have said that sooner, you know. I'm Toko Sagisaka. I grew up with this dope and just can't seem to get away from him, despite my best efforts. No need for formalities with me. Everybody just calls me by my first name. Incidentally, thanks for saving him. I happened upon him during a mission. It was good fortune, nothing more. There is one other member of our group, but she's like a rare monster spawn. She should pop eventually. Guess you'll meet her then. So, what's the plan? Do we all pile into the police station and tell them Akiba's infested with monsters? They'd never believe a word of it. Why not? I mean, we can show them living proof. You're one of these synthister things now yourself, right? No, no, that's no good. He'd get dissected and have weird sciencey tests run on him. Hmm, so going to the police would involve giving him up as a noble sacrifice. That sounds reasonable. Don't even joke about that. Besides, shouldn't we be more concerned with trying to get him back to normal? I mean, if he stays like this, He'll start attacking people sooner or later, right? That should be no concern. He will not attack others against his will, at the very least. He... he won't? Well, what do you think? You're the one in the hot seat here. Yeah, that's a good call. And we should start by checking out the place where you interview. If we were to find clues anywhere, that would be the most obvious spot. Hmm. There's still an awful lot I don't get, though. Like, if there's hard evidence of monsters in Akiba, shouldn't the police already be on it? Until we're certain of that, all we can do is our duty as freedom fighters and investigate. Oh! Hey, Tokikaze, would you care to help us out with that? What? Well, I mean, you seem pretty familiar with these things. So come on, what do you say? It is true that I've been researching them. But I'm being specifically targeted by them as well. And I don't wish to involve you all in my affairs. <laughs> I think that ship is already sailed. No kidding. 
These creeps have already changed one of our guys into some kind of freaky vampire. So yeah, if you can help with that, we ain't gonna stop you. All right. Okay then, perfect. Shizuku, please write your name and cell phone number in the group registry. Cell phone? I'm sorry, I don't have one of those. That's rather unusual in this day and age, but if you don't have a cell number, your email address will do just fine. Um, well... Hmm, sounds like you're a tough one to get a hold of. I guess it would be kind of awkward to ask for your home number, huh? Actually, I haven't been home in quite some time. There were problems. Seriously? So you're an honest-to-goodness, real-life runaway? All mired in melodrama? I didn't run away exactly. And I do have a place to stay. A place with plenty of manga. They even have a shower there. Don't tell me you're staying in a manga cafe. Do you not have anywhere else to go? Mm. Hmm. Seems you've got some heavy stuff going on. Pop, you know, upstairs here is all stark, bare, and empty. Hmm? Oh yeah, you're right. I think we got some bedding squirreled away around here too. What do you say, Shizuku? If you like, you're free to stay on the second floor here for a spell. And we won't take no for an answer. Meeting you like this feels like it's gotta be more than a coincidence. Know what I mean? Having you around can only be to our benefit if we're to continue studying these monsters. It would seem to be a win for all parties. Then we all agree! The Akiba Freedom Fighters have a new member! Three cheers! Bob Ong! But wait. I haven't agreed to anything. All right, just for a little while now. Thank you for having me. Okay, so here we freedom fighters stand, in the midst of a maelstrom. You said you fought some of these things already. Aside from that, have you ever done any real hand-to-hand -hand combat? I never meant to forge anything. You just mean we fight so often you happen to get something out of it, right? I'm not sure I'd even call those fights. They seem to be more like tests of endurance to me. Huh? What was that? N nothing. Nothing at all. See, I'm getting a little worried now. Hey, I know. A friend of mine runs a coliseum in Akiba. Or a battle arena, I guess. Whatever you want to call it might be a good place to get yourself caught up on the basics of combat. You want, I'll introduce you. For real? What kind of person is this? Who the hell runs a battle arena in Akiba? Just a martial arts nut I know who found herself managing the place, that's all. But she doesn't let just anyone step into the ring. You gotta pass some kind of test first or something. I'll give her a call and let her know what's up. So you better get going. Oh. And take Shizuku with you, too. A little extra training can't hurt any, right? I think Toko should go with. She can probably force your way in there, no problem. Test be damned. Watch your tongue. I am a dainty and respectable lady. You got that? Seriously? Rude much? It's not a bad idea, though. So who will you escort to the arena? Shizuku or Toko? What? Why me? I... I guess it makes sense, actually. You go by yourself, and they'll wipe the floor with you. So for your sake, yeah, I'll go along. The battle arena is on the other side of Main Street and right past Jump Street. You got that? Come on, let's get this over with. Knock him dead! Thank <laughs> you. 